Well, it's not just the weather that's heating up. The grills are getting hot, and that can only mean one thing. And Kyle's excited. It's time for steak. It is steak time, and we have two steak experts in with us this morning from Longhorn Steakhouse, Tyler Bjorn Miller and Tim Roberts, who will be showing us what it takes to make the perfect steak and impress all of your guests. And all this food, guys, already looks delicious. Thanks for coming in. Well, thanks for having us. Um, so today we're going to feature some of our new items on our core menu. Uh, we have the we have four different cuts of meat today that we'll be seasoning. Uh, we also have our Hawaiian salmon um, by popular demand. We got our grilled corn back and a hickory salt crusted fillet. Oh, you just say all these words and my mouth is already drooling and I'm just kind of even looking at dessert. Kyle, we haven't even tasted. I know we haven't anything. even like started talking Desserts about dessert over yet. There. Well, you were saying, Christy, like, and I kind of agree, too. I love corn. Like, corn is mm -hmm. one of the best parts of, of, of summer meals. And you guys have a great recipe that uh, people just want it back, right? Absolutely. Um, we're going to top it. We're going to fire grill our corn in the restaurant. And then we're going to finish it with la, la crema sauce, which is basically a sour cream sauce, and then uh, spicy parm uh, bread topping. So when you get in the grocery store and you bring these home, what's kind of the first step that you guys also do in the restaurant? Uh, we're going to wash them, and then we're going to peel them. So if you want to peel I that get to, one. I get to work? Yes. <laughs> we're going to put you to work today. I did pick this side. I was going to say, you normally you make me do the work, but you saw the corn over there, and we're like, nope, I'm over here. I really wanted to taste test it. And you know what's surprising is I don't love sour cream, but I love like it on the corn for yeah. some reason. It just is so good. So then for an easy way to do it. Oh, gonna, easier? You didn't easier you just were watching so me do it the hard have way? I to do it one, one leaf at a time there, Christy. We're going to peel it all the way back like this. Getting there. And then we're going to leave a little bit on so we have a handle to eat our corn with. Nice. Oop, we have a, a, some mess down here just in case anyone. I blame Tyler. I blame you. <laughs> so we'll pick off these hairs. And a lot of these will cook off on your grill once you're uh, yeah. fire roasting them. Oops. We'll pick some of those off. Bam. So when you guys are cooking these on the grill, I mean, is it just, I mean, it's peel it off and throw it right on? That's that's all you have you to do? You don't have to butter it up? No, we're not going to butter it up yet. Really? Um, just because uh, once you start grilling with butter, um, it's going to burn. Once it gets oh. so hot, it's oh, got okay. a smoke point to it. Then we're going to grab our scissors. Sorry about that. I'll just trim some Cut of the Cut the tail? Bottom. Yep. That way you have a nice handle. I got this. There go. I can do that. <laughs> well, bam. No, and just, then you just throw them on. It's not bam until later when you throw the. Oh, the stuff salt on. and yeah. the. Yeah. Okay. That's when it's bam. So we'll just throw those right on there and we'll get those cooking. And we're going to see. So today we got a, what we, what we would call our flat top grill, but mm -hmm. usually at home the char grill. And we'll do about four to five minutes per quarter turn. Okay. So it'll take about 20 minutes on the grill as far as timing out to when you want to start your steaks. But uh, then once that's finished, you can top it with a little crema. Okay. Now, Tim, you're here with us because you are a. Can I call you a grill master yet? Yes, you may. Okay, so <laughs> talk about the competition that you guys have and you're part of. Well, Longhorn does an annual uh, steak grilling competition among uh, the 5,000 cooks, Longhorn cooks in the country. Um, we compete against each other and, and narrow it down to the best. And um, I'm one of the seven finalists. And in June, I'll be going down to Orlando to compete in the finals. So out of the 5,000 cooks in the country, you're one of seven. That's How does it all work? So I mean, is, how long have you been grilling steaks and working on your craft like this? Well, I've been with Longhorn for about three years now. And, you know, we just work hard and yeah. get better every day at it. That's amazing. That's really awesome. You must have some awesome. natural grilling skills too, though, because I have zero. <laughs> but <laughs> so that's why the, you're here. <laughs> from the grill master, so what is the secret to grilling a perfect steak? Well, you want to start with a nice hot grill. Mm -hmm. About uh, 425 degrees is good. Um, make sure your, your grill is well oiled so that your food doesn't stick. Uh, season your steaks well. And then really the only secret is to just be confident with it. Yeah. yeah. Practice makes perfect. Awesome. So with these, so what would be our kind of our first step? Our grill's on, it's hot. So what's our next step to do? Uh, grill's season? on, grill's hot. Let's get it oiled because uh, we don't want our steak sticking because then we're going to lose all that seasoning we put on there. Okay. And then we want to pick our steak. So right here we have an eight ounce filet um, and we'll actually clear this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the garbage. Perfect. No problem. And then what we want to do, so we have our proprietary seasoning um, at Longhorn. 
This is gonna be our, our grill seasoning and we're gonna boldly season our steaks. So for our steaks that go on the um, char grill, we're gonna go, we're gonna go what we call round trips. We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna do that twice on our, on our bone-in steaks that go on the char, but for yeah. the ones that go on our flat top, we're just gonna go one way. We're gonna turn that over and we're gonna get it on. And those corn hairs are gonna come off later Absolutely. anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that was Christy's fault. She made a mess over here. So this is the this was the fillet you said they yes. announced fillet and yep. then what's what do you got for bone ins today is that ribeye? So we have two ribeyes. Uh, one's going to be bone in that you see right here, and one is uh, boneless. Uh, and the big difference mm -hmm. on that, the marbling's the same, uh, comes from the same end of the cow. It's just that bone's going to have just that much more flavor uh, to that ribeye. So Tim, when you're talking about having confidence, that doesn't mean like knowing how to do tricks with the tongs. Do you know any tricks? Should I hand these over? I, I don't do a lot of uh, tricks with the tongs, no. Is it just kind of just letting it be? Is that one of the secrets too? Yeah, so once the steak is on the grill, you want to let it sit there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. on the, what, it's gonna, the, what that's going to do is form a crust with the seasoning so that when you flip the steak, that seasoning is not going to get left behind on the grill. And that'll help um, just form a crust that it gives it that extra flavor on the outside and that yeah. signature taste. Is maybe like playing with your food too much is that probably one of the biggest mistakes that probably a lot of the home people make is they're poking it with a fork and moving yeah. it around and it's it's just really like like you said it's set it down and just let it yep. be you, you've got to let it sit there and cook you don't want to be poking it you don't want to be cutting into it with a knife as you're going that's just gonna let all the juices come yeah. out um just let it cook until you'll start to see as it begins to cook around the um, on the bottom, you'll see that uh, coloration creep up, and that's when it's time to flip it. Oh, okay. Mm. So you want it like when it's maybe half up or just barely kind of going around? Just as it's starting to come around the, okay. the curve of the bottom of the stick. Because you can see a couple spots, but you want to make sure it's all the way Yeah, around. we're going to give this one just a few more minutes before we flip it. See, this is my thing is I'm one of those people like, oh, I'm just going to lift it to peak. I'm going to lift it over here, and then pretty soon you're kind of changing the temperature of what's it, what it's cooking at, too. Yep, and you want to go for about the, the same amount of time on each side of the steak. And if you're just if you're constantly flipping it, you're going to lose track of where it's at. Mm. So and what so else do we got here, you guys, too? Well, we're waiting for this to fry up because we've got some delicious desserts and a couple of appetizers over here as well. Yeah, again, by uh, you know popular demand, we have our fried green tomatoes. Uh, that's going to be topped with our uh, red chili ranch and then feta cheese. Um, that's oh. going to be, again, one of our new seasonal items. And then we have our strawberry uh, shortcake. And there's nothing short about our shortcake. Uh, <laughs> when I saw it, <laughs> when I saw it, I couldn't believe how tall it was because usually the, you know, the desserts are, our desserts are so big. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, we got our corn and then our salmon. So this is, some of these items are seasonal and some will be on the corn menu. Well, what I love about like something as so simple as a strawberry shortcake is it's something so satisfying in the summer. You're craving those fruits, and, but you need something a little sweet too. Mm. I love it. <laughs> now, is there anything, I know you guys have your proprietary, so we're, not, we're not, probably not going to get the secret ingredient to the Longhorn Shake, but is it something people can pick up, or is there kind of some things that you recommend that you found that make for, like, a good seasoning for a steak for somebody who's uh, grilling it up at home? Um, me, personally, at home, um, when I don't have our seasoning to use, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's going to be salt, pepper, garlic, uh, a little chili powder, maybe a little cayenne to heat it up. I like to spice it up a little bit. Um, and then, because at the end of the day, you're going to be your own best cook. Yeah. So you know what you like to taste. You know, like the That's flavors. True. So, don't be afraid to make it yours. Yeah. I well, like and that. if you have people over, it's kind of like, here's our steak, or here's right. our seasonings that we use. You know, they can do their own when they're at home cooking. You've got your own signature. When people come over to Christy's house, they know she's, they're getting a she's certain seasoning. Microwaving that steak <laughs> for you. <laughs> Now I feel much right. better though. I feel more confident, like you said. It's it's kind of about that confidence, the letting it be, it will do its own job. And then you you flip it when it's ready. Is it almost ready? I think it's ready yeah, to flip. That's ready to flip right you, now. You, you want, want me to, to flip it over? Oh yeah. Just plop her down again. Ooh, look at that, Kyle. So then the same amount of time on the other side, right? Generally like to do three to four minutes. Okay. That way it, it's gonna cook evenly inside that steak for whatever degree that you do want it. And for people who are making these at home, once you get it all the way around, then you add the sauce on at the end when you're plating it? Yep. Mm. Let's remind people, too, where Longhorn Steakhouse is. Longhorn Steakhouse is going to be in the Coles parking lot at uh, 4410 13th Avenue South, right next to Ulta. 
Sounds good. And all of these, if you don't want to do it yourself, you want to let the professionals, yes. the real grill masters, fire it up. Uh, all of this great stuff on their on your corn menu, so kind of seasonal. Mm -hmm. So maybe come in now and don't want to, You don't want to miss out. Right? Absolutely. Um, we've also, I just like to add to our viewers that we have, we've added six more beers to our tap line. Um, so come and enjoy the different selections that we do have for them. Yeah. Just man after my own heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When we come back, you guys will hopefully do a little taste testing and we'll be telling you more about acupuncture as well.